Hello and welcome to Infinity. In the last videos, which we've been doing very carefully, step at a time, we have produced this, which lets us increase and move the histogram around the place and stretch and squeeze it and so on, so that we get to a point where we can have clearly selected, we want white as the selected value, so that we then, if I turn this off, you can see this is the most colourful area which is most saturated, so that is selected with that. So that's kind of useful. But what I want to also do is this selects for colour. Yeah, so this is the colourful area. What if you want to select for the other end, if you like, of the spectrum of saturation, the darker end? So what we do with that very simply is I'm going to put one minus. You basically invert it by putting it then a brackets at the beginning and the end so that is one minus everything like this and then we've flipped the other end and so now in order to see this as a mask we turn the red green and blue off and the a on now you've got more selectors so the blacks here are well mostly selected intermediate ones will be partly selected like this and you can use these to push that selection as well so the controls here will help you then make, if you want, just more of the black. So what we'll do now is to put in a control here so I can just flip it like this rather than have to fiddle around. So this, I'll make this a an integer and we'll call that invert. I can say naught, the normal one. It's normally naught is normal because Color one equals mono. So in other words, this is going to be the mono bias. It's going to try to select for the monochromes, but will select some color as well. But it's that end. So in other words, I've got naught and one here. And the trick with this, I'm going to take all of this here and replicate it. And I'm to, then I'm going to use the naught and the one to select one part, is, which is going to be for the inverted one and one part which is for the normal one. And just using the D here, and because I've got naught and one here, I want to flip it between there. And the way to do that, I go one minus D. So when it's naught, then one minus D is one. So I can then use that up here. Let's do it a little bit by experimenting. So what I'm going to do here, I can put brackets here around all this. And then multiply this by D by itself. What do I get there? Well, nothing selected here until I go red, green, blue here. So I'm just looking at the mask, it's black. But if I put this now onto mono, this now gives me half of the equation to select mono. So I got one and I got the inverted version, which is going to select for the monochrome end of saturation. So I want another one of these. And what I do here is just select the whole thing, Control C, and then plus this, and put that in there again. Now what I do here is these two things. One is I, on the D here, I open brackets and do one minus D, then close brackets around that. So in other words, when I've selected zero here for color. One minus D gives me one. So this is the color calculation. And when I've got one here, then one minus one is zero. So that turns that off and turns this one on here. So in this one, because I just want the color end selecting for the colorfulness, then and I'm going to take off the one minus because that does the inversion. So now if I go to down here, see when I've got this not selected, I've now got the selecting for colour here. So this is normal saturation. I think at the other end, I'm going to select for desaturation, which I guess this switch this to one. And so that one will select this part here. So it calculates this when it's one and calculates this when it's zero, because when this is zero, you're multiplying by zero here, which removes that part. Just to see this in practice, 
let's take the red, green and blue off and put the alpha on. And I can switch there for the monochrome end of the spectrum, so desaturated and zero to get the normal sort of saturated end. In fact, let's change this. I'm going to put this to sat and desat, because that fits better with what we're trying to do. That's better. And in the next video, we're going to add another switch again. So we can create within the switches here that flipping backwards and forwards to make a switch between being sort of visualising and actual mask that you're going to use. So thank you very much for watching.